Hi students, good morning. I am very happy to welcome you again for grade 5 English class. Did you remember about the previous class? Yes. What are the topics we have seen in last class? Nouns, kinds of nouns. Tell me about nouns. You know, nouns means names a person, place, animal or thing. Okay. Then, what are the types we have seen? Common noun, proper noun, abstract noun. Okay. Today we enter into the topic. I would like, yes, let me show some things to you. What is this? Children, what is this? I have a marker pen. I have a one marker pen. Okay. What is these? Yes, these are marker pens. I have one, two, three, four. Four marker pens I am having. Okay. What is this? It is a sketch. I have only one sketch. What is this? These are sketches. See here. One, two, three, four, five. I have five sketches. Did you notice that the nouns tells us they are one or many in numbers. So, you, I think you find the topic. Today we are going to see about the noun singular and plural. Let me introduce the topic. Today topic is nouns in singular and plural. Yes, nouns tell us whether they are one or many in numbers. The nouns are Tells us it is one or many. Nouns can tell us about the number of people. Yes, the number of people, number of animals, number of places, or number of things. So, it, it tells us it is the nouns of one or many in number. Yes, the topic singular nouns. It referred to only one person, place, thing or animal. Singular. Singular means only one. It may be one person, one place, one thing or one animal. Which refers only one. It is singular nouns. Look at the examples. Mother gave the baby a toy car which is given in green color it is a singular noun mother is a singular baby is a singular car is a singular noun then second example i ate and egg for breakfast here egg is a singular noun an apple a day keeps the doctor away. Here, apple, day, doctor. These three nouns are singular. Look at here. Mother, mother, baby, car, egg, apple, day, doctor. These words tell as about singular nouns. So, singular nouns are used as names of a single person, place, animal or thing. So, singular noun refers to one person, 
place, animal or thing or called singular noun. Next nouns, plural nouns. It referred to more than one person, place, animal or thing. When the plural nouns refer to more than one person, place, thing or animal. Okay. Look at the examples given here. Mother gave the baby several toys to play with. Here, toys. So, toys is not a singular. It is a plural. It is not a only one thing. Toys is a many things. More than one. So, it is a plural. Then, Mr. Sam bought eggs from the grocery store. Yes, here eggs. Egg is a singular. Eggs is a plural. So, it is a plural noun. Apples are good for health. Here, apples are plural nouns. Here, toys, eggs, apples. These words tells us about plural nouns. Plural nouns are used as names of more than one person, place, thing or animal. So, you have to keep it in your mind. Singular means only one. Single thing, single person, single place, single animal. But plural means it is more than one person, one place, one animal or one thing. More than one. That means many. Okay. It is a plural nouns. Forming plural nouns. There are different rules for creating the plural forms of different nouns depending on their endings. Here is an example to help you remember the basic rules. I gave you examples to remember the basic rules. You can easily understand that here. When we form plural for most nouns in the following ways. By adding S at the end of the singular word. Yes, for the singular word given here, the examples, toy is a singular. By adding S, we make plural here, toys. For singular word noun, toy. We make a plural, toys. Then, house. Houses by adding. See, look at the end, ending of the word. S. So, we add S to the singular word, house. Then, car. We add S to the word in singular. So, it is car. So, by adding S to the End of the singular word, we make a plural nouns. Okay. Yes, the next one. When a singular noun ends in S, 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 X, S, K, Z, C, H or O. For these singular nouns, by adding E, S to make plural nouns. Look at the examples given here. Bus. What is the singular noun ends in S? So, we are adding E S. What is the next one? Class. The last word S S. Sorry. The last letter S S. So, classes. The next one Fox. X. See here X. So, we want to add E S to make a plural. Then, wish. Here, S, K. So, the last one, we want to add E, S to make plural. Quiz, quizzes, branch, branches, potato, potatoes. So, when a singular noun ends in 
दीज लेटर्स एस 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 एक्स एस एच जेड सी एच और ओ फॉर दीज फॉर दीज सिंगुलर नाउन्स वी वॉन्ट टू मेक अ प्लूरल नाउन मीन्स एड ई एस टू दीज नाउन्स then next then next one nouns ending with o can take yes in the plural yes some nouns ending with o can take es or s in the plural here we take es but here only s photo ending is o but we take a word s in the plural form piano pianos zoo here by adding i e s after removing y from words ending with a consonant plus y yes a singular noun that ends with the y the before letter is consonant forms the plural by dropping the y and adding i e s look at here the example city yes here city y the y before is a sound of consonants form so by dropping y we are adding i e s to the end of a word to make plural city cities in a plural form then here baby then babies dropping y then adding i e s to make plural here lady ladies by dropping y we are adding i e s this is this rule only for the word ending with the consonant plus y yes consonant the y before is a consonant form we want to add i e s the next one is different by adding s after removing y from a words ending with the vowel plus y yes but it is singular ends with y the before letter is vowel form the plural is formed by adding s so you look at here re example re the y before is a vowel form so here we add only yes the before is a consonant form so we are adding a e s here y before is a vowel form so we are adding s monkey monkeys the y before letter is e so it is a vowel form then boy the y before letter is vowel form so boys so you know the difference between this consonant and vowel by adding i e s to make plural okay next by adding v e s to nouns that end in f or f e yes the singular noun which ends with f or f e to make a plural we want to add v e s here are the examples leaf okay f so f is a la ending word so we remove f then we are adding v e s the next one life f e here see here the last ending word is f e so by dropping f e we are adding l i v e s so less then here knife so the knife last letter is f e so dropping f e we are adding v e s to make a plural form knife the next one is some nouns that end in f or f e the plural is formed by adding s see look at here just go back f or f e in in singular we want to add v e s but this one is totally different here we want to add only s see chef chefs roof roofs giraffe giraffes 
So for these words, uh, singular, we want to change into plural means. We want to add only S. In this chart, some nouns do not follow any of these rules while changing from singular to plural. Such nouns are called irregular nouns. Yes, here irregular nouns do not follow any of these rules when they form plurals. Okay, uh, some nouns are spelled differently in their plural forms that, that are irregular nouns. Look at the example Oman. Here we never add S, E, S. I-E-S, V-E-S. The word plural is totally different, spelled different. Woman, woman, woman. Man, men. Child, children. Okay? This, this plural nouns spelled differently. Then, the next one. Some nouns are always used in their singular forms. Okay, here there these nouns look to plural but are actually singular. Yes, here muse. Yes, it is a singular used in their singular form. Equipments, furniture, information. These nouns look plural but are actually singular. Okay, the next one some nouns are. Some nouns always take their plural form even though they refer to one thing. For one thing, these nouns always take their plural form also. For plural and singular, the same uh, form only it will give. I, I and my trousers. Here, trousers carefully. Trousers is a Singular and plural. It refers a say. Please be careful with the scissors. They are very short. Here scissors. So it, it refers one thing means also the same. Uh, it looks like a plural forms. Here some nouns remind the same in their Singular and plural form. What is given in the singular, the same will be in the plural also. See, look at the example. The deer walked out of the forest. Here, the deer is a singular one. The next one, there are three species of deer in the zoo. Yes, here, three number of uh, plurals, plural. Also, we are using the same singular word for the plural. So, the some nouns have the same in their singular and plural forms. Uh, examples, sheep, then fish, then deep. These are the examples for uh, the same which remains in singular and plurals. Here, I have a small game for you. I hope that you all will understand the rule, basic rule, how to make a singular to plural. Here, all the words I gave, gave are singular. You have to answer with me how to make a plural form. Okay. What is the first one? B. Yes. Here, uh, what is the answer will be? What is the answer? Yes. We want to add yes to the word singular. So it is a bees. Okay. The second one, I. What is the, what is your answer will be? Yes. Yes. We want to add yes. So it is eyes. Then, second one, third one, bus. We have a different here. Bus, the end of the letter ends in the singular S means we want to add, we want to add ES, very good. Buses, then the end of the singular noun 
yes is we want to add e is okay the next one box the last letter ending x we want to add e is okay then watch the end of the letter c h so your answer will be e s okay next one potato the end of the letter o so here we want to add e s then next one photo yes i think here also we want to add e s yes no it is wrong for this one we want to add yes okay the next one is city by the last letter y means by dropping y it is before letter is consonant form so we want to add i e s then here monkey the last letter is y so we want to add i e s no the last letter before letter is form of vowel so we want to add s then here wife here the last two letters sorry the last letter is f e so by dropping f e we make a plural v e s wives here for leaf okay dropping f we want to add v e s here roof for adding s to this one then child i told you already for the irregular nouns do not follow any of the rule so children by adding or e n so children the the spelled word is totally spelled different then next one mouse the plural form of mouse mice s yes. then here news we want to add a c sorry we want to add s e s i e s or b e s no nothing it is a same in plural news news furniture the plural also furniture scissors the same will be given for singular and plural for one thing or many thing trousers the same then here sheep fish these will remain the same in singular and plural i hope you all will understand the singular and plural nouns okay i will catch you in the next topic thank you students